Hello everyone and welcome, Professor Mary here. Today I want to talk to you about nonverbal communication. Um, so what is nonverbal communication and how seriously do we take nonverbal communication? The reality is that we uh, use language to communicate with each other, verbal language, and we don't think much about the nonverbal language. But is it important? The answer to that question is yes, absolutely. Nonverbal communication, it is extremely important. And it's something that we use in our everyday life. And we should pay more attention to nonverbal codes and signals and messages that are being sent to us. I do have a, a PowerPoint presentation for you for today. But prior to me sharing those slides, I really want to talk to you a little bit. So what is nonverbal communication? Uh, the definition for nonverbal communication is basically um, a, a communication that is happening between people without using or a language that is being used between people um, without using verbal language. So you're using codes, you're exchanging messages, um, and you're doing basically anything but just speaking verbally. Now, when we uh, think about nonverbal communication, um, we also have to keep in mind uh, cultural sensitivity, which is something crucial. Uh, cultural sensitivity has to do with someone's ability to understand that in other countries, people use nonverbal communication differently. Different codes, different gestures, different messages might mean something totally differently than, um, than us in the United States. An example of that will be um, someone using uh, their hands to say hello, or maybe they're using their OK finger, which in our country, this usually means that you are approving something, while in other countries that might be uh, something offensive. So let's be aware of cultural sensitivity and let's be aware of the fact that different cultures uh, have different signals that might not be similar to us. There are many examples of nonverbal communication. I really would like to highlight um, a few of them. An example of nonverbal communication will be um, hugging someone, would be shaking your hand with someone. Touch and kissing are also a part of nonverbal communication. Nodding your head, um, uh, it's also a example of using uh, nonverbal communication. Eye contact for us as Americans, as well as many European countries, eye contact is uh, crucial and it's important. Um, when you are in a business setting, um, it's important that you are having strong eye contact with the other people that are in the room. Um, again, this is something that we use, uh, but if you look at uh, Asian cultures, for example, and an example of that will be Japan or China, uh, eye contact, uh, looking someone in their eye might be considered offensive, uh, depending on the fact that if the person in front of you might be older than you. So again, a cultural sensitivity, we have to keep that in mind. Uh, traveling and using different codes and different languages. Um, again, if you're not able to speak their, their language, uh, although English, it is an international language and we use that often, but if you're traveling and you're not able to use, um, uh, let's say, um, the language of that country, then you will depend a lot on your nonverbal communication. So there's just so much to talk about nonverbal communication. I'm going to go ahead and share uh, the PowerPoint slide with you. I want to be able to give credit to the book authors, um, and then we'll get started. All right, so here we go. So um, nonverbal communication, um, these are the credits that I want to give to the book author of the university where I work. Um, as well as the publishing company. All right, so the definition is here for you, um, very short to the point. According to Pearson, which is a academic um, author, he has uh, written a lot of books. This is actually the definition from the book. Um, Nonverbal communication is basically the process of using messages other than words that create a meaning. And again, this can be any type of messages, and I just gave you a few examples. All right, so here we go. So if um, someone is uh, basically um, making facial expressions or they're happy, 
as you can see on the screen right now, this is an example of a person that maybe uh, they were watching their uh, a game, a football game or a soccer game, and they were excited if their team won. And so affection display is someone's um, emotions when they're getting excited about uh, something. All right. Other definitions that are uh, related to nonverbal communication include illustrators and emblems. As you can see here, an example of the first one will be someone nodding their head um, as a way of saying yes. And um, the second example is basically, um, you know, when you're using your, um, your thumb um, to make the OK sign. All right, other definitions that are also um, important to highlight include regulators and adopters. Adopters, an example of that will be someone playing with their hair. And regulators, maybe if someone is looking away because they might not be interested. So as you can see here on the screen, there's a, a picture of a student in, uh, in a classroom as well as a professor. And maybe he's not interested in the lecture, um, so that would be um, an example of a regulator. All right. Tactile communication. Um, again, we don't think of uh, touching as nonverbal communication, but actually it is. And so the definition for that will be the use of touch in order to communicate. That's the correct term. All right. And the last slide here that I have for you is that when um, using nonverbal uh, communication in your everyday life, please make sure that you are aware of cultural sensitivity. This is the first thing that we talked. And eye contact is also very important as well. All right, so these are some of the things that I wanted to highlight for you for today. There is just so much to talk when it comes to nonverbal communication. Other examples of nonverbal communication will be when you are driving and you're seeing signs usually signs they might have words in them but usually they might not but sometimes they might not have words so you just will see signs and signals so an example of nonverbal will be driving facial expressions are also um i consider nonverbal communication like if you're smiling at someone that's basically a code that maybe you like something or you are approving something um etc all right, so that's it for nonverbal communication. So I hope that you learned something very valuable today and that next time that you're having a conversation with someone or if you're not having a conversation with someone, you know, it's important that you pay attention to their body language. Nonverbal communication is everywhere and it's essential and we should all pay attention to it. And that's it for today. Thank you.